if you're like me, you might be a newcomer to Escape from Tarkov. Now, I've been playing Tarkov uh, since January of this year, only for a few months. I actually purchased the game back in January of last year, uh, but I couldn't understand how to extract or, or what you had to do, and uh, the footsteps were too loud and it was scary, and I just died all the time. Uh, but... This year, I decided to try a new game and to really sink my teeth into it to make it my main, and I'd, uh, I've been playing and really enjoying Escape from Tarkov. So much so, I've been streaming it on my YouTube channel. It's going to have a little spy at the window. Yeah, I already had a quick geese. Oh, fuck! And I th uh, every now and then, someone will come in the chat saying, you should upgrade to EOD edition. I'm like, EOD, what are they... I'm being told to eat a dick? EOD, Edge of Darkness Edition. Now, when I first purchased uh, Escape from Tarkov, I purchased the Standard Edition. And with the Standard Edition, you get uh, several things. If you have a look, you get um, uh, a basic stash size, 10 by 28 cells, and you get some starting equipment. Uh, in, uh, one of the main things is the Secure Container Alpha. It's a, uh, it's a that's a uh, container that you put items in that even if uh, you die, you can still have them uh, when on your character when you go back to the character screen or into the next next um, raid. Uh, but it's only two by two, and you get a heap of other uh, stuff as well and um, different things depending on your, your faction that you choose. But um, everyone's been saying, get the Edge of Darkness edition. Um, so uh, if I first show you my game now, I'm going to um, show you my character screen now with the standard edition and the size of the stash and the secure container. Now, as, as we can see here, this is uh, my character. We've got the alpha container here, which is you get with the standard edition. Uh, I've got the grizzly in there at the moment, but uh, that's the secure container. It's just a two by two, you know, four squares, so you can fit something like a grizzly. Usually, I'll uh, depending on the map, I'll put my docks case in there and some money or something like that. Uh, but this is my stash, and uh, it's reasonable size. It's pretty full at the moment. I have actually upgraded that in the hideout um, to level 2. So it is actually bigger uh, than what the regular size stash that you do get. So it is actually bigger. Uh, but like as I said, everyone's been saying upgrade to Edge of Darkness Edition to get a bigger stash, the uh, large container and more items. So this video is aimed at people that may have purchased the standard edition. Um, and uh, they're thinking, should I upgrade? Is it worth upgrading to the Edge of Darkness edition? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna purchase the Edge of Darkness edition right now and um, um, see how it affects the game and, and see if it's worth it. So let's have a look. Okay, so jumping back to the uh, pre-order screen, I couldn't actually find the link on the main when you log into your main account there where to uh, pre-order the game. I'm not sure it might be on their website or something, but I'll leave a link to the. Uh, pre-order page in the description of this video. So uh, there's one, two, three, four different uh, versions of the game you can get. Obviously the standard edition where you get the secure container alpha, two by two. Uh, Left behind edition, you get, which is uh, essentially all the same stuff. You might get some extra, you still get the secure container alpha. Um, you got the prepare for escape edition. Uh, what uh, increased stash size there? That's fifty-five dollars US. But uh, we're interested in the Edge of a Darkness edition. So let's have a look at this. Uh, so Edge of Darkness edition. So the huge stash size of ten by sixty-eight. Now I'm not quite sure what mine is at the moment. Don't think it's quite that. But uh, with that, we get the secure container gamma three by three cells. So that'll be really good to um, go in the raids and you know get a Tetris chuck it in there. Uh, but you get a whole heap of stuff there. Now, I'm not going to read all through that. Um, I'm hoping that when I purchase it, um, it'll give my increased stash and all the new items. Uh, it says also, initially good standing of all in-game traders. So I, I think that's, I don't know if that's the reputation with them or uh, um, might might be you know better prices with the traders, the dealers. Uh, and it's $95. for I think it works out for me, 110 Australian. So... Let's jump from standard edition uh, to Edge of Darkness edition. Attention, the equivalent difference will be sent to your profile via in-game mail. Ah, please re-enter the game. By pressing confirm, you certify that you're over 18 years. Yes, let's do it. Confirm. Okay, so I'm going to pay through PayPal. Uh, enter email of your PayPal. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, okay, pay now. It's going to throw me over to PayPal, I'm guessing. Put my password in, don't you peek? I know what you like out there in the internet. Confirming, logging in. Escape from Tarkov. Hundred and so it's going to cost me a hundred and forty nine dollars to upgrade from the standard edition uh, to the Edge of Darkness edition. I'm not quite sure how much I paid for the standard edition. I think it might even be around seventy dollars Australian. All right, here we go. <coughs> it's processing, processing. Your purchase, uh, yep, complete, okay. Uh, so now, uh, uh, oh, the, the link, the link um, to the uh, pre-order, <laughs> it's on the main page, but we'll have the, um, we'll have it in the uh, description. All right, Edge of Darkness Edition. Okay, so now it says that I have the Edge of Darkness Edition. Um, so let's go back to the game. Uh, I'm going to log out and log back in. Okay, so we've logged out of the game. Uh, we're now logging back in. Profile data loading. So that's going to grab the new... Let's put some sound in here. So it's loading my new profile information. It's going to be the same. It's just going to have the larger stash size and the secure container plus more. I'm interested to see what else we get here. All right, so let's go to our character. Oof, gamma container straight away. You can see there it's a three by three. Oh, that's so awesome. Now let's scroll down our stash. Remember before uh, it was uh, it ended at the last set of bags, obviously. So that's where it ended. Holy smokes. So that's the extra stash size. Now remember, I had already upgraded uh, my stash in the uh, hideout. Uh, so I've got a level two stash as it was. So I think the original one came up to probably about here, uh, above uh, that second bag. If you can remember, my stash ended there previously. Uh, and I've got now this much more to work with. Holy smokes. And the Gamma Container. How good is that? Right now, there's got some in-game items that we get. Let's uh, first see. Now we've got a message from the system. Uh, the package is upgraded. We thank you for support of the project. We And send you additional equipment. So let's go receive all. Holy shit. So look at this. So this is what you're going to get. Extra. We've got dollars. We we'll actually get some dollars. You get a thousand dollars there. Uh, wow, this is good. Oh my god. Oh fuel. Oh yes, thank you. Fuel. It's, it's almost worth it just for the fuel. Propitol, morphine. Look at all the. Whoo. Uh, now I don't want to. Will that all fit? <laughs> Look, what is this backpack? Oh, mechanism. What the hell? Uh, this is good. This is good. You get a heap of grenades. I think those grenades I actually need for a quest. Ah, oh, they're not found in raid though, I don't think. So um, I'm not going to uh, uh, accept them all straight away. M64. Actually, do I? Can I I've got a proper quest where I need to hand those in. Is that them? It is! Hand over N64. Alright. So how many of them did I get? Let's go back. So have a look at everything. This is this is, this is everything uh, extra that you'll get with the um, Edge of Darkness edition. Have a look.
So that's pretty cool. I can see a few other items there that probably would f uh, help complete a few tasks as well, um, which is which is cool. Um, but yeah, look at the look at that. So I'm not going to add them all in just yet to my stash. I'll come back to that and accept them later. But look at um, look at the extra stash size. So that's what it was originally, and that's the extra amount of stash we get. So, um, if we have a look at the original pre-order amount, the standard edition uh, looks like that's forty-four ninety-nine. I think that's US. The uh, what's the next one called? It's the Left Behind edition, seventy-four ninety-nine. The Prepare for Escape was ninety-nine ninety-nine, and the Edge of Darkness edition to buy that outright is one hundred and thirty-nine ninety-nine US. Um, so yeah, that might be a lot for some, uh, not for others, but for me to upgrade. So I would originally have purchased the forty-four ninety-nine one, uh, and then I've uh, paid another hundred and fifty. So it's cost me a few hundred dollars to um, uh, upgrade to the Edge of Darkness edition. But you get a larger stash size and all those items. Um, it's a, it's in beta, so you you, you know you're not you, you you're you're supporting the development of the game at this point is what you're really doing. So another thing that it mentions there is you get an initially good standing with all in-game traders. Uh, I think that means that you just start that off uh, like there's a good reputation maybe, I'm not quite sure, and a unique in-game ID. I think that's, you get a crown next to your name maybe, is that right? So um, costs a little bit of money but um, yeah, I, I think it's um, if you're into the game and you've enjoyed it, you start off, you've purchased it. You've got the standard edition, and you think, you know what? I actually like this game. I'm going to play it a little bit more. Let's get the Edge of Darkness edition. Go for it. You get the Gamma container. Look at that. I can put a uh, Grizzly in there, Doc's case, and I've got room for a Tetris and a graphics card if I don't get one tapped at interchange and a huge stash size to put all my belongings. So there we go. Upgrading from standard edition uh, to Edge of Darkness edition for Escape from Tarkov. Is it worth it? I think it is for myself, for you. Hey, up to you. This is how you do it, and this is what you get. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you want to. And I do escape from Tarkov live streams right here on YouTube. Thank you for watching.